everyone welcome back to my youtube channel trouble free in today's video we are going to learn about the concept of design process in the subject of software engineering you already uh, know the sdlc right what are the different steps in sdlc so in sdlc the first step is requirement gathering okay this is a step one right so once you are done with gathering all the requirements your next step would be designing or planning okay so once you done once you are done with the uh, requirement gathering you would start designing the system okay so then what is this design process design process is nothing but it is a first step in designing and it is also a step by step process where you can simulate the actual software as per your requirement you basically come up with a model okay you simulate it simulating is nothing but what replicating it creating the same model so basically you will create the same model as per your requirement whatever your requirements is you will create that model so that uh, by looking at that model uh, you can if you want to make any changes you can make changes in that phase itself instead of again going to the next phase and again coming back and all you can make changes then and there itself right so it is very important for getting a better quality of the software okay so usually in software engineering for a good design we have three important characteristics we have three important uh, things to note down in the point of you know having a good design so let's see what is that first one is the design must consider and also fulfill all the customers requirements that are specified by them so customers are nothing but end users okay the end users or the business users whatever so whatever needs uh, that particular customer has how they want their system to be like they want their system to be supported by both uh, browsers on uh, laptops or pcs and also they want a, a mobile support as well okay or whatever whatever features they have each and every feature each and every uh, requirement should be fulfilled okay that is the first and main important character of a good design next a design should be readable and also understandable by all the people involved in that so all the people in the sense see after designing what will happen coding will start so who will do the coding developers will do the coding so once developers are done with the coding who will test the work done by developers the testing team will uh, test it testing or qa team will test the work done by the developers right so that design should be understandable by both developers so that they can look at that design and they can develop and also testers so that they can look at that design and they can come up with different different scenarios to test okay so and and different people who all are involved in the development phase or in the uh, execution deployment everything everybody should be able to understand and also read that particular design okay it, it should not be complex it should be very simple okay next the design should also provide a very clear picture of software addressing both functional and non functional requirement of a project okay so you know what are functional requirements and what are non functional requirements right we have seen them in the previous videos so that design should be able to give you a clear picture a clear understanding of both functional and non functional requirements that are involved in the project okay that is about the three characteristics first is it should fulfill all the requirements of the customers from customer point of view and from developers point of view they should be able to understand and read the design it has to be simple so that they can easily understand and read it and also it should provide a clear picture a clear differentiation between the functional requirements and also non functional requirements okay so these are the main three uh, principles involved in the design process so all these three goals should be achieved before moving to the next phase what is the next phase coding is the next phase okay coding or whatever planning it, it depends so in general sdlc is like coding but again if you go into a more specific uh, scenario to scenario it might differ okay so all these three should be achieved before you move to the coding so how do you do how how can you get all these things you can achieve it by following the design quality again design quality also has some principles okay you need to follow those principles so that you can achieve all these three things right got it so this is about design process now 
why do we need this process so you can just go and you can just take up a word document or you can just take up a you know powerpoint presentation and start designing right why do you have to um you know think about so many things why do you have to keep so many principles in your mind why is it so important so why because after this phase the coding will start based on the design which is given to the developer so based on the design given to the developer the developer will start coding so if the design is not done properly again all the coding work has to be done coding or whatever steps are done till then all those steps are to be repeated again if this particular step of designing is not done properly so that is why this step is very important okay so yeah that's all for this video guys um basically design is nothing but it is the next step after gathering the requirements so while uh, creating a design for any software you have to keep three things in your mind one is it has to fulfill all the requirements of the customers it should be readable and understandable by both developers and testers and it has to have uh, all the functional and non-functional requirements included in that these are the three main things you have to keep in your mind okay and how can you achieve all these things by following the principles of design quality which we will be seeing in the next video okay and why is this really important because after this phase you will start coding and once you start coding it is a little bit time consuming to redo everything okay so that's all for this video guys let me know if you have any um suggestions or if you're not able to understand any part or if you have any video recommendations any questions anything uh feel free to uh let me know that in the comment section and thanks for watching the video till the end let's meet up soon in the next coming video